All right, good morning. About quarter to 11, February 23rd, 2023, I want to share with you the commissioning of this EG4 Life Power 4 6 gun battery server rack system. I'm using 4 out cable, had to make it all myself, and got it hooked up into the bus bars. We're going to open this door up. I'm going to show you the fix action for these included bus bars. First off, I want to say, I work for myself. I paid for everything myself. My opinions are unbiased. No BS. This is the way I roll. It's either black or white, or it doesn't roll. So let's go in here. And the number one thing with everything is if you, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. If it doesn't look right, feel right, smell right, taste right. I had a supervisor tell me that a long time ago when I was a technician. Don't do it. Do it right. Get it right the first time. Don't screw around with this stuff. This thing is a 30,000 watt battery, 30 kilowatt hours. It will kill you in a heartbeat if you, if you do stuff half-ass and don't screw around. So what I had to do is take these bus bars completely off and put hardened bolts. I had to drill out six new holes for each of these 12 battery interconnecting cables and install uh, quarter 20s in there. Cleaned up the, the copper bus itself. These are all great eight hardened bolts with nylock. This, is a, this isn't a nylock here, um, but that's, this is what I had to use for here. Uh, it's like a star nut type thing. It locks in. And I cranked the living piss out of these to make sure that they had great contact with, I don't know if you can see that back there, but it's a bolt. And in order to tighten up this bolt on the main cable, you just have to take off the bus bar from the isolators and just kind of carefully bend it forward, get an open end wrench and just tighten it down. And for mounting the bus bars to the batteries, I just pre-positioned them, tighten them all down, good and tight, tighten them down, then I mounted the bus bar and then mounted them to the battery. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy correct torque sequences. The only thing is I had to bend these out just a little bit to clear the circuit breakers. And you can't put the plastic cover plates back on unless I, well, no, I can't. I tried. That's a pretty good picture right there. Maybe. See there, nylock. God dang it, autofocus crap. Anyway, long story short, um, I'm using 4 out cable, negative down here, positive up here. I eliminated all the pinch points back here and had to rework the wall down here. And I had some of these cable relief, electrical style, but I'm going to actually use some bayonet automotive style, like they use in car stereo builds, and put it in there. This, I would never energize anything get this all cleaned up I would never energize or do anything unsafely the way that this thing sits now it's safe it can be safer uh, and I'm gonna make it safer uh, let's see here communications no problem came right up beautifully everything came up beautifully as you can see oh maybe not there we go I have about 104 amps coming in, about 5,000 watts of power to charge these right now. I want to get them up to full charge. Let's go over here and I'll show you on the Whiz Bang Junior, 104 amps going in. And I had to reset all three of these classics for the uh, voltage parameters for these batteries, doing it by the book. Inverter's on, but I'm not inverting at this time. So there you have it. No BS zone, no spin zone here, folks. Um, now, until I can start inverting and, you know, using power, um, I'll give it my full assessment. But so far, so good. Biggest frustration point, again, was these bus bars. But you know what? No two systems are built the same. 
you know, installation wise when you install these things. Uh, this may not be the way you want to do it or think it's not right, but it looks right, feels right, smells right, tastes right to me. So to each their own, but never compromise safety. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you have a good one. Be well.